All right, and we're here with episode three of season two. Starting off with Andrew from 652A. We would just want a tournament in Cali with Lady Brown. Very nice Lady Brown back. Right, they have uh, they have a bottom have roller. Deadpool. Hmm? They have Deadpool. They do have Deadpool. Very cool. Very cool. Right, they have uh-huh. a bottom roller, but yeah, hey, they have very nice chain chaining work. Or all the chains on the inside, right? All of it is very tucked away, and you know, very unless it snaps on its own, it's not really going to be like affected their, by anything outside. Their, hmm? their air tank placement. The air tank placement is also very nice, right? You see a cross brace right here between the two, um, two like, what do you call it? Uh, the chassis Decal? pieces for for the Lady Brown, and they just threw it on. They just zip, zip, zip tied it onto there. All right, very nice. I wonder what those Thanos are in the back for on um, behind their intake. No, no, I'm pretty sure these are just I... to uh, move the rings away from the. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are to move the rings away from this jamming because this can. I know since I have I have a hook right. This oh, will jam yeah. on the on the full goal. And that's to push it away, so then their Lady Brown mech can actually work. Because otherwise, huh. if it's just jammed, they can't. Hmm? Okay, I wouldn't have thought that would just fix it, but yeah, I guess it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see other teams, base. other teams with plastic, right? That that rolls down the back. That's to do the same mm-hmm. thing as to keep it, the rings away from the the hook, so the hook doesn't jam onto the. Yeah. Yeah. So this is very. This is actually a very nice addition that you caught onto. So if you're doing a hook, I highly suggest right, uh, suggest doing this right, so your intake doesn't jam. And if it jams and you keep running it, then Right, if you're running toggle intake or something, it might even snap. So I just, you know, this is a nice thing to add on. They have a lot of, uh, where's that, like nylon uh, nuts here, just plastic nylon nuts, right? Very nice. This is a very good place to use the couplers as well. Overall, really well built robot here. They even have plastic for the offset uh, motors. So, and they have some tournament photos from them too. Wow, that's some crazy yeah. wall stake play. They are filling everything up, and I heard that they were the only ones filling it up because. Yeah, uh, for Elam, they were too. the ones. Yeah, they were the ones uh, who had, because they were paired with three, three, four U. I'm pretty sure, and they only, oh. they were the only ones who had that wall stake, and they were able to really yeah, pop three, off. Three, four U did have wall stakes. I'm pretty sure they didn't. I'm pretty sure they were just a hooked uh, uh, a hood bot. Oh, okay. but this is super excellent. Well, you know, even they, even though they took heavily inspiration from, from, uh, Lady Brown. I'm still gonna give this an S tier. Like, like what people have already been doing. <laughs> these guys are... <laughs> there are people are rating these robots <laughs> before me. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, I guys, mean, yeah, I don't mind. You guys, can, you guys can rate the robots and then, you know, yeah, I don't mind. All right. We have we have Adam from 229V with Adam's robot. I I don't reckon this is... Ace's robot? This is Ace's robot. I, I, reckon, I reckon this is Ace's is robot. It looks exactly like the Ace's robot. I reckon... 727R's robot. <laughs> I I know. This is okay. this is 727R's robot. Yeah, but I mean, once again, you see, you see it once again on the back here. You have the the plastic piece here that's to redirect the. Yeah, uh, and you see Ace away. has Ace, Ace made it like little plastic things, and they like. Curve yeah, it this out. is they have to actually okay. They actually have the most like secret technique. The most like you know this is this is the off the most off meta, but it's it's very meta. A battery placement so you know we've been talking a lot yeah. about battery placement throughout robolytics or sorry robo ratings right and i think this is the best battery placement right drag it on the floor i will show your have dominance to agree. right i'm gonna give this have to an f tier <laughs> currently working on wall mech but everything else works fine <laughs> what is this we have a dog well it's even if the people have spoken Do the people um, have spoken so is this is an f throw back to my uh Pieces and bots. Yeah. Bang. Bang. You know, this actually, it feels actually like quite fast. The, the chains, the chains, like the, the Doesn't flaps it? actually feel pretty fast. I mean, if this, I felt, I, I thought they were going to be much slower, but they're, they're not is even that, running the flaps fast. They're running them pretty slow. Is that a 200 RPM car, you think? Yeah, oh, wait, I'm, pretty no, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's just 200 RPM. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's fast for 200 RPM, but you can easily with flaps speed it up to just a 600 really easily. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a C tier, though, because it is quite, it's been quite a while since early season. Yeah. Yeah. Old robot picks. <laughs> so someone has been rating all these robots for me. Okay. <laughs> From 3018. This, this is nice. This I, is I like it. Cool hmm? What? This is a very clean robot, and they they had to do the same thing we did. You see, see how they have like 
uh, curved pieces at the top of the right cage. Here. Oh yeah. Yes. That's because mm -hmm. that's because um, two things. One, the ring, uh, or our cage was angled downwards, so the rings would just fly out forwards. And two, it also just helps guide the rings rather than having like, like um, so it doesn't get it kind of got wedged in between the flat part and then the, on top of the first ring, and so that also helps it guide it there. Ooh, so very very cool. cool. Ours is bended way too much. It's like a ninety degree bend, but it's okay because it works. Yeah, well, I mean, I see their hood redirect. They right only mounted it with battery clip. Yes, I, I saw their battery play clip as well. I was going to mention that. <laughs> this is uh, atrocious. Y'all aren't allowed to mount it with just battery clips. Your battery's going to be on the floor, <laughs> and you're going to be so sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do not want it to be in the finals uh, tied 1-1 at a world qualifying event, and then your battery falls out. Or just, like, even at a local. Like, yeah, I you think, need to qualify. I was originally going to give this, like, an A tier, but I think I'll lower it to a B tier just because of the battery placement, unfortunately. Be standing yeah. for battery. Fix that battery placement. All right. But everything else is super nice. I like it. Yeah. It looks like a very clean robot apart from you only mounting with battery clips. Sister team. Sister team. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. So, okay. I noticed. There's, you, you'll notice if you play very slowly, frame by frame, it's bending. The axle is bent because you can see it's kind of <laughs> awesome. It's very slight. You do have to pay close it's attention. It's not slight at all. You can easily yeah. see that. You know, uh, I feel like I feel like to. I okay. I don't know if this is recoverable because it's not super easy to bend it back if it's like super bent like this and in weird orientations. I would just get a new shaft, but to prevent this from happening again, right? I feel like I feel like they, it's because they ram into something and that caused it to bend because this is right towards the outside yeah. of the robot. So I put like a C channel over this so to protect the first layer, right? And if you. Uh, want to be even safer than make this a high strength shaft instead and not pretty much yeah, bins. yeah as well as just for a better first stage you're gonna want to have your your pre-roller not so like flat down because it makes it harder to pivot up yeah and, and not so, so bent either move your backwards like more towards your ramp then you will have a lot better pickup yeah let me give the, give an example of that actually i feel like oh this is this is a good one yeah you see on uh Robo Monkeys one, theirs is like, you know, it's pretty much flat. So this is a very, this is a very easy pivot, right? This is very, then we have to go maybe like 20 degrees to pick up a ring, right? And this is mounted also, like this is also hard stopped fairly high, right? Right at where the ring is pretty much. So they were to like just grip on very quickly. And for yours up down here, uh, what I can see is that, you know, this is angled very down. So to pick up a ring, you have to go like 45 degrees up to grab one. And that's so much extra, like, uh, time that's being wasted there so you know that's a yeah suggestion we have for some new teams oh, oh also be careful your batter your brain right now it's fine like how it's mounted but once you start adding like cross beams and stuff um you're not like if if you at the beginning of the match before your robot moves there if it doesn't ever move then you're allowed to do some specific things like unplug a battery try to like you're you're allowed to like uh like tinker with like fixing like making a robot move you yeah. can't do that if you don't have access to your the power button without touching your robot so you're not allowed to touch your robot to get to your uh power button mm -hmm. if that happens well, well that's just something this is getting an f here unfortunately but i feel like they can they can still make it work they can still make things happen master potato wow showing off their awards all the paper awards <laughs> that's quite sad well, no, no, they have real awards. Yeah, but they're they, so they small. Like, yeah, but they're custom, so they're cool. Dude, they're cool. I like this. I can't really tell super clearly. I don't really want to go full screen. So when I go full screen, I can't really record. So I'm going to give it an A tier. We did, we did already do the blue robot. Yes, we did already do that. So I'm pretty sure we got an A tier as well. Or maybe even an S tier. But Debussy. Wow. This one. This one's interesting. Let's see. So, wow, we have uh, the plastic sheet on the back, right, to keep the ring further away. I like that. And then there's two 5.5 watts. And I feel like the advantage over over that is just that both of these sides, because I noticed that we are currently using one 11 watt for our, our 
uh, lift. And the problem with that is that one of the sides usually lift higher than the other side. Is and that's just because, uh, just how it is. Only one side is one side is giving more power, and you really can't like give both sides the same amount of power with only one. So this really uh, like distributes the power quite well, and just makes sure that both sides is able to you know, go up and down at the same time. Yeah. Do you think this battery is super is very reachable? Because I remember you were talking about that last uh, last uh, the last the block. battery or the brain? Yeah, the brain. Sorry. It's probably not. But also about the battery, it. I didn't see. I didn't see no. I saw clips. Oh, I don't like clips. We don't like clips. Oh, oh. Uh, when you were talking about the five point five watts, um, we we're using them and they burn out pretty quickly. It's um, not like it, it won't burn out in a minute 45, but it's just something in our experience, uh, 5.5 watts have been a little worse. Yeah, well, looking yeah. at this photo, your, your preload is going to get destroyed. <laughs> it's so far yeah. out, and there's no, barely any bracing, right? First thing I do mm -hmm. is I either move it back or I would just put, you know, I, okay, I would either move it back or I would, uh, sorry, I would either put like a, a C channel over it and then triangle brace it, or I would do that and move it back. That's what I was trying to say. Just you, no matter yeah. what, you would want to have a C channel up here and triangle brace it, right? With plastic or whatever. You've seen that quite a couple of times on here already. So, and it's not like he doesn't have plastic. He has plastic here. Yes. So yeah. Just do that. I think this is pretty I nice. Thought, didn't we? Didn't we see him? And then, because I remember the metal wall glides or, or gold glides, and then we we're like, you can make that plastic if you have it. Yeah. Maybe. I, it's, I, it's, maybe. It's, Team? I don't know. I don't remember. But I'm going to give this one a B tier. Bang. Free what skirmish that? bot. Plus handpick. Plus handpick. Yeah. Wow. I do like the... I forget what it's called. But they, they wrap it around in the tape, their air tank. The carbon fiber seconds. wrap? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, well, the first thing I'd actually do is move this radio. This radio is kind of close to your electronics. I'd move it further up, further away from your electronics. So it doesn't get really get like messed Which up. Electron hmm? Which electronics? Oh, the motor. Eh, I mean it's just the one motor. I guess it's kind of close to the drive. Is okay. Well, for us, it lost us a world record and like uh, a lot of stuff at Kal Kalahari. So I, I have been very uh, like yeah, upright about talking good. about this thing about that radio. Hey, yeah. this is. What are your also, thoughts on the on the flap uh, first stage though? I, I feel like it's probably better. Really? Because yeah, it it'll like grip it better. I would guess. I haven't. Wait, and honestly, like, and honestly, I think a big problem with the the like. Wait, so wait, since the you know the intake right, it has or another intake. The ring it has a hole in it. So why don't like I feel like we haven't really like tried doing flap first stages at all right but i mean we saw that in tipping point so much but i think people have just been you know really uh like dead set the couple of se past seasons on flexible intakes and that same mentality going into this season i think has really uh hindered like you trying the try uh trying new types of like front layers because it's super safe to go with flexibles but i think this actually could be really good i actually think that do you remember the the like the first spot that we made where it just like slapped it on the goal where you into it onto like a little oh stick yeah and... <laughs> that was like you guys okay. low-key well, made the over was... the overclock mech yeah yeah it was similar to the overclock but we had we we had uh the pickup was actually like pretty good even though the bot was like super jank but completely flaps. jank flaps the, we did use flaps to pick it up and it picked it up pretty well because it just like will scoop into the ring yeah and then it's just like so nice yeah. uh i don't know why we didn't continue doing it i guess there's no one else was doing it yeah i think people should i think if you're watching this and you are willing to try new stuff i think you should totally try this this is nice oh wait actually actually one issue is um you have to either move your crossbar from your pre-roller way back or way up in order to allow the flaps to spin so that is one issue. Mm, I see. But yeah, I think this is nice. I'm going to give this an S tier, actually, since just because of that. Yeah.